Can you make money out of writing? Or better yet, can you make a living out of writing? Hi everyone and welcome to Heroi Reads with Lona. My name is Lona and it has been a while since I touched on a bookish topic or a literary topic. And I just want to talk about uh, making money when it comes to writing. So for the first question, can you make money out of writing? The answer is a definite yes. And this reminds me of uh, my time uh, when I just started uh, putting my work out there because I used to be a closeted writer for the longest time. And I remember along the way I started blogging and that is how I gained confidence to put my writing out there more. And there was this uh, friend of mine, I'll put her friend in quotes, and she told me about this uh, magazine that she and her boyfriend at the time wanted to start. And I was so excited because I told her, you know, I'm a blogger and I write. And she told me, yes, we would like to have your article in our magazine. We would like for you to be a regular contributor. And I was so excited. I can't even remember what exactly I wrote on, but I... I wrote something and I submitted and they told me, yeah, we're going to pay you. Uh, once the magazine comes out, you're going to get your pay. Of course, I didn't sign a contract. Um, anyway, so I wrote and I submitted and it took a while. And every time I would tell her, I would ask her if the magazine has come out and eventually the magazine came out. And when I looked at the magazine, it was of the poorest quality. Like I was surprised. And of course, yes, my work was in there. I don't remember if it was a soft copy I was shown or an actual copy. I think it was an actual copy. And then I started to follow up. When am I going to get a copy? Because I knew if you contribute to a magazine, sometimes you're given a, a free copy if your work is inside that magazine. And I followed up and I she used to work somewhere in a shop and I would go there frequently when I was on that part of town and I would ask her, um, when am I getting my copy? It was always, yeah, I don't know, printing, just a lot of stories that never really made sense. To cut a long story short, I had been conned. I never got pay for that article. I never got a magazine. And that was the demise of our friendship. And I never even saw the magazine anywhere. It was never sold anywhere. I can't even remember the name of the magazine. It's a long time ago, more than 10 years. I think around 11 years ago. But that was not the only case. I've written here and there for people. And I wasn't paid. And it was always a roller coaster of emotions. Because you write. Sometimes they tell you, you just write for us. Eventually we will start paying you. And you don't get paid. And I remember the first time I got paid was in 2019. That's the first time I wrote something and I got paid. And I couldn't believe it. It was 3,500 shillings. And that's when I discovered that it is possible to make money out of writing. So when it comes to making money out of writing, I always feel so bad when I talk to someone and someone is telling me how um, they've been writing for so many publications, they've written a lot of things and they've never really gotten paid. So for me, I, I feel it's very important to place value on your work. Place value on yourself, place value on your work. And after I got paid, the first time I got paid, that's when I discovered that I can actually place value on myself. But even if for somebody who has not yet even started writing and just wants to make money out of writing, it's possible to just place value on yourself and to place value on your work even before you submit your first piece that you want to be put out there. So you need to know um, how much you're worth, how much your writing is worth. And I believe once you know this, you will always look for publications that pay. So you will always seek out publications that pay. Of course, there are publications that don't pay and your work being out there, the exposure is important. For me, myself, I've written for so many publications that didn't pay, but the exposure of having my work out there was gratifying to me. So, of course, you need to have a balance. You need to have a balance where you want your work to appear without pay and where you want your work to appear with pay. And that is the thing I hadn't really understood back then. I just thought, ah, 
writing will ever get paid. I never knew that you could actually get paid for your writing. But once I discovered that I could get paid for my writing, that is when now I became intentional in seeking out publications that pay. The next question was, can you make a living out of writing? It depends. It depends. It's possible and it depends. Sometimes it's, uh, and I think most times it's, in, it's impossible actually to make a living out of writing. But there are people who are actually making a living out of writing. And I usually say you need to be aware of your bills. How much are your bills in total? Monthly bills, your rent, your utility bills, and what you need for survival for the entire month. And once you do that calculation, you know um, if you want to, to make a living out of writing, you need to also have several publications or maybe that pay you and pay you good money. So sometimes this takes a while. It takes like some years for you to get several publications that are always ready to receive your work. And these publications pay you and you're able to pay your bills during the month and you're able to survive through the month with your, from your writing. So I know it's possible. There are people who are actually making a living out of writing. But you see, these people, they kept at it. Writing, you keep at it. If you want to have your work out there, you don't give up. You keep at it. So you keep at it, and along the way, you start discovering which publications pay, which publications need your regular contributions. So once you have established channels where you can submit your work and you're assured that they're going to accept your work and you're going to be paid for them, and you're sure that you can rely on this for survival during the month, then you're good to go. You can make a living out of writing. But normally the advice I usually give people, please uh, have other pursuits. Don't just uh, focus your all on writing to make a living. Yes, keep writing, keep being paid, but also have something else going on for you that is also giving you money that you are assured you can rely on that money to help you pay your bills to sustain you through the month, through the year. So just don't put all your eggs in one basket. And one thing I'll just emphasize so much, even before I conclude this video, place value on yourself. Because when you place value on yourself, somebody will not give you stories of, oh, you write for me first, and then I'll pay you later. You'll be very assertive about what you want. So you will ask the right questions. When am I going to get paid? How much am I being paid? You know, you're asking assertive and mature, you're asking mature questions, sorry, and uh, they're direct questions because you want to know, you don't want to put yourself, your work somewhere where you will not be paid, where you'll be taken advantage of, where your work just disappears. And you see, you're creating a portfolio as a writer. So if you tell people, these are the publications that I've written for, it's important for people to be able to see what you have written for those publications. It is important for you to share links to publications you've written, you've, you, you've contributed to. So imagine if somebody just picked your work, they are shady people, you'll never see where your work appears, you'll never get paid for it. And if it's possible to also sign contracts, if it's possible, always sign contracts. And what I've come to discover, legit platforms will always indicate how much they pay. Legit platforms will also indicate if they don't pay. So that is important. They are not shady. So if you see a platform is shady, skip it. But if you see a lot of platforms, they will be clear. We pay this for this and this. We don't pay because of this reason. And if you want to submit to a platform that does not pay, you saw it in their submission guidelines that they do not pay. So I think uh, it's important to be aware. Awareness is important and placing value on yourself and your work is important and just believing in yourself. So if you enjoyed this uh, video, please consider dropping a like before leaving, subscribe to the channel and also become a patron to support if possible. I've put the link to Patreon account in the description box. Until next time, keep writing and keep reading.